Aye. Always get in the groove, baby. Get in the groove. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Born Free here, and I am here again with F Chan. Now, last time we spoke, right, you had some pretty fucking honest and choice words about Street Fighter Five, which oh, yeah. I think we all appreciated. Mm -hmm. uh, now, today we're going to talk about Marvel. It's day three, last day of e uh, Evo. Last day of E3. It's close, though. It's close to Evo. Yeah, close. And then you're going off to CEO, right? Yes. Tomorrow? I'm going to CEO later. Yes. So you're going to be playing, so, yeah, you're going to be yeah. playing some games there. Uh, so let's talk about Marvel. Uh, let's talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, you've been playing a lot. So uh, it's a very volatile environment online right now, like social media. A standard, yeah. It, it's, it's standard, but it's also like warranted I understand it like I know where they're coming from mm -hmm. like particularly because of Street Fighter as you well know yeah like we did that video together I, I can clear this all up so check this out right so you know I bash Street Fighter I highlighted the good I highlighted the bad right yeah in Marvel I highlighted the bad which was the the Chun-Li face the animations but we all based it off the demo yeah the demo we have a demo here or we have a real build uh -huh. and the difference is night and day yeah I mean, sure, granted, there's still some other things they can work on in the graphics, but I also addressed that to Ono-san that I told him, like, dude, the, this is the number one community concern is the graphics. It should, it should be, it should look 2017. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least just, a, just like a little bit better than Marvel 3, you know, at least, uh -huh. right? So those are the bad things about the game. Um, and I'm very vocal about it. And then I highlighted also the the good thing about the gameplay how it was so deep and it was just amazing how what combo Fiend has done and all of a sudden everybody's social media is saying that we all getting paid like justin Wong, myself yipes to promote marvel and that's not really the case it's not true at all like i've been very very honest on how i feel about capcom from the gate and that's never changed you know um i would have been the number one guy who's gonna tell them like dude to fuck off I hate Marvel 3 you know I hate Marvel like Marvel like you know if this was whack yeah. you know in general right but it wasn't you know it's not bad it's, it's not bad at all it's like actually very very creative okay so I don't want to dwell on the social media to think too much about uh, what it is the reason they're saying what they're saying is because what they see is like uh, in the long run like you guys uh, who play it professionally it's in your benefit that the, that the game does well right mm -hmm. so it's not like literally being paid it's that yeah. I, I hear what they're saying right mm -hmm. yeah. uh, now that is true, but having said that, I want to just tell a quick story. I was here on day one and Eli Joe came up to me and his eyes were bright, open, and he was off camera and he just said to me, he was like, dude, this game is good. Now, I interpreted the tweets that you guys put out not as, hey everybody, this game is fucking amazing, we're selling it. I interpreted those tweets as a big fucking sigh of relief, which was like, yes. thank you. It was a big sigh of relief, right? It was like, exactly. it was like, fuck! It's actually a good game. It's it's like all the struggle that we've had for the last 19 months playing Street Fighter. We're like, damn, everybody can play Street Fighter. They put mashing roundhouse, you can win, and then you get crush counter, super. That's it. How no, like everybody that plays like you know whatever character, you can't really distinguish who they are. You can't put your your personality, you can't put your, your how how special you are in whatever character you're playing, you know, kind of like what Tokido and um, Gamer B has been highlighting, you know, like how you can't put your character, you know, how you're, how, you know, you, there's no combo, it's not that deep. This one, finally, after all of this shit has been going on with Street Fighter, we have a game that I could say that it's technical. It's all from now, from my impression for the last three days, okay? Like, I'm sure it can change. I'm sure somebody's gonna come up with like some broken stuff that it could break the game but I'm sure they can patch it but I'm saying like compared to Street Fighter this is night and day as far as like gameplay how technical the game can be how deep it is it's not just like ABC fireball mash demon like it's not like that <laughs> and mash that's demon video that I like. that's, some, that's something that I truly like you know and and I really respect that and appreciate it coming from Street Fighter 5 so were you uh, were you worried let's go back a little bit were you like were you worried when you were you nervous before you played um, Marvel? Marvel. When you played yes. Marvel, were you oh. nervous? Before, when you were coming in, were you super nervous? What? I what? was very negative. I had a negative cloud surrounding me. Okay. Like, oh, this is gonna be the. At that the, point, had you seen like the graphics and stuff? Yeah, like, I've seen the demos, etc. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be the worst game in the history of mankind. Capcom was just gonna go bankrupt next year. I'm already know. I'm gonna switch, switch to Dragon Ball. 
I already have that in my mindset. Uh, he, he just keeps going, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then I saw it, I'm like, this cannot be real. I'm like, this fight wrong, whatever. And then I was like, what? It's technical? What? I could blink dash? I could wave dash? I could fly? I could do this? I could do that? And it's open world? I'm like, this is crazy. This is everything that we've all been dreaming for as far as gameplay for Marvel vs. Capcom 3, that this transition, we wanted this. We wanted an upgrade for Marvel 3. Mm -hmm. And we wanted that, and we got it. Okay. And we we're so happy for it. That's why you can see the abundance of joy. I think that's what it was. Like, I felt like a sigh of relief. Yeah, like, that's, that's how I interpreted yeah, it. The abundance of joy that me, Justin, and then um, um, the Ipes, everybody, L.I. Joe, we were so happy. Like, wow, oh, we don't have to play this stupid <laughs> Street Fighter V. We get hit by bar roll, turn around, punch, and we lose. And the thing is, you still get to play Dragon Ball as well. Oh, hey, by the way, I'm gonna play Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, that's all, you're obviously gonna play that. I'm one hundred percent gonna play a good game. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's a good game. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like that's a real yeah. good game. Street Fighter V is a bad game. FYI, I'm not holding that back. I've always kept it real. I so, got this tear. I got this tear. That I, I need to like. It's the reality. Tear. It's the truth. So, so I started to like get annoyed with social media. How like, they say like I'm getting paid. I'm doing this, but but I've been so consistent on what I say public that I can't believe there was still a doubt that my my words was being bought was being paid for it it, it pisses me off like what else can I do I mean you know what I'm saying uh, yeah, yeah no I understand how it can piss you off but I, you, I think you can also understand how people are sitting there and are feeling very very upset the graphics they're very pissed off about demo. the graphics the demo the demo graphics yeah but even like Chinese look like yeah, absolutely you know, like I had to, that's why I had to highlight it to Onosan that Chun Li face ugly, um, you know Dante. So basically, this is the reality. Every single Capcom character looks very, very ugly. Yeah. Okay. But if you go to the Marvel side, since that's somewhat regulated by Marvel, they look so pretty. Have you seen Nova, Thanos? Dude, really I'm in shiny. love with Captain Marvel. Is it Captain right? Marvel? Right. So, 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 love so pretty. That. So it looks like they, since this is not the final. They, I mean, sure they have. Uh, they have builds ahead of this, probably like three or five, five builds ahead, right? Okay. And, 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 and they could have easily worked on the Marvel sides first, right? Because Marvel is here, and they, they, that, that's, I'm assuming so, right? So that's why Thanos looks so sick. Like they're really shiny, so Thanos pretty. Thanos looks amazing. Yeah, right. Um, oh, Nova. Uh, Ultron looks amazing. Ultron, Nova, Miss Marvel. Yeah. So like, if you see those things, and that's the quality they have for that character, don't you think that eventually they will fix the Capcom guys too? But that's that's the, my assumption, but, right? But that's the problem, right? That's yeah. the problem is that the, the been burnt by Street Fighter Five is like. You know, you didn't you didn't listen to us about Ken's face in the character select screen. You didn't fix I this, that. that. Yeah, Did you, you see know, my like, tweets about the Chun Li 2007. I haven't seen all your tweets, but yeah, I, I know what you're saying. I, like, I, that, I burned that's, it. Bit, that's the bit yes. people are worried about. Yeah, that's people are worried about, and I think it's understandable. Absolutely, I think it's understandable. Absolutely. So I think I think I think you know, talking good, bad, and ugly. I think uh, you know, we all know about the bad. We talked a little bit about the bad, and we've accepted the bad. Now, it, what you're saying is this game gives you freedom. A lot of people have been saying it's broken. It should be broken because it's it Marvel. Should, yeah, <laughs> it, should be, it should be broken, but with not a lot of restrictions to avoid the brokenness. Okay. So the way Marvel has been throughout has been everybody is somewhat top tier, like like even a normal fighting game. But in the Marvel game, the characters? Like, like in general, in general, yeah. in Marvel games, it seems like if you put them in any other game, they're like triple S tier just yeah. because of how they are in Marvel games. Yeah. So Marvel games are just only balanced with the amount of options, the amount of freedom that every character has and yeah. how the mechanics are. That's how games are. That's how Marvel crazy games are balanced in a sense. Like you, you give these characters all the options. They could move away from the from the bad things, the, the bad 50-50s. You could avoid that, you know? Um, I, I also appreciate the, the little things that they've added to avoid the super... 50-50s like uh, for instance you could you could attack high like you say you could have like a character that jumps in and does a dive kick that hits high uh -huh. and then you could cancel that tag cancel and have a character coming in and press low kick yeah. so now how do you block that high and low you yeah. can't right so now if the both move hits on the same frame it becomes an auto block for you 
Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, so stuff like that, I appreciate that. I appreciate the, the little intricate stuff that they yeah. put in, you know, on those little things, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. To avoid the craziness. And you've been doing, you push, I, I heard you talking earlier, you've been pushing out some technical videos. Is that yeah, yeah, I put some videos on little things that, you know, that, that, that to show how technical like the, the game is. Were, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the depth and all that yeah, sort of stuff. Yeah, the okay. game is extremely technical, like... It's it's there's different types of defensive mechanics. I'm sure offense is so overwhelming right now. Yeah. But there's we have defensive mechanics that was added like um we have push block. But the push block there's two types. If you press if you push block on frame one, you okay. get rewarded oh, yeah? by the fireball reflecting back to your opponent. Oh really? Yeah, but if you're not as precise, you, you just block it and just push him. And Wait. Just frame one. Oh, wow. But see, so now okay. if you're like an expert, you will practice those one frame links over yes. and over again. Yes. So you get rewarded for that. Yeah. So I like that. I like the combo was that was an ABC, um, like ABC mash mash mash. It wasn't like that. There's an option that you can turn on if you're a beginner. In option, if you press L1. Yeah. yeah. You could turn them turn them on and turn turn them off. So yeah. it's for everybody. So if you're a pro, you turn them all off, and your combo would be a normal Marvel three combo. And you would get better combos. Yeah. Right? And you yeah, get yeah, way yeah, better yeah, yeah, combos. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So stuff sense. like that. I was like, God damn, this is what I wanted. I don't want the bums to randomly get lucky and get yeah, games yeah. off Justin yeah. Wong. Like I don't want that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't yeah, want yeah. that shit. I don't no, want like right. a rookie who just started playing Street Fighter beat Daigo. Yeah. I don't like that's the disrespect to the uh, legacy of the guy. I, I, I love those guys. Those guys are like they are the pinnacle of fighting game players. You know, I like know. But when I see them lose to beginners, god damn, it just pisses me off. Like you know how great those guys are in fighting games, and then they could we've lose done their, this video. Yeah, I know, we've but I'm just saying I'm so frustrated. I know, that, I know, you know, I love you, but we've done this video. So tell me more about Marvel, right? So uh, which characters are you still like warming to? Uh, so I like I'm liking a lot of characters, but I generally play mostly Marvel characters. Oh, the Marvel side. So I'd never played a Capcom character. Oh really? I didn't know that. I, so Marvel three, I played Phoenix, Doctor Doom, Dormammu, Magneto. Oh okay. Sentinel, right? Yeah. Um, this one I played Ultron, Thanos, Miss Marvel, and yeah. Nova, and yeah. So I don't like playing Capcom characters in Marvel games. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I try oh, to okay. play the villainish yeah type. Are they weaker, or you just don't like playing them? Um, it's 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 just a preference that I've, that I've that, that I've had that I'm maintaining the consistency. Okay. So I'm known to play mostly all the villain characters. Okay. So this time around, I'm just gonna play mostly Marvel characters. You know. Okay. Uh, was there anything that uh, I guess there's a lot that surprised you? <laughs> so many. <laughs> um, but was there is there anything in this game which surprised you? Which feels like it's it's a little bit different from other Marvel mm. games? Yeah, there is. So there's this, um, for number one, that my favorite change was the adding of burst. In okay. Duel of the Gear, if you're getting hit, you could burst the combo out. So it's that very good defensive mechanic. Okay. This one, if your other partner is getting comboed in the air, you could hold down the attack button and it uses two bars. And it, you're, okay. uh, you get to control the other character and help your other character oh that's getting God, hit. Oh my God, that's so cool. So that's defensive mechanics to balance out the aggression is really good yeah. sure it does cost meter so imagine in Street Fighter 5 if you can break a combo if you have if you could burn a hole your super right that would be good right in yeah. a sense so it's kind of like yeah, the yeah, same yeah, yeah it would the same <laughs> sense, <laughs> I burn right? everything I burn everything but it yeah, drops, to, yeah. if, if Balrog's on me with his speed trigger uh, I burn everything I'll burn my next <laughs> life bar the next round you know what I'm saying? If yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. you know? But that's yeah, yeah. how. I like that balancing aspect. Also, I like the freeform assist type. So, in Marvel games in general, when you press the assist button, a character comes in and does a predetermined move. So, let's say you call Ryu as your assist partner. Ryu jumps in and throws a Hadouken, a fireball. Yeah. And then he, he, he does a taunt and he steps out, right? Yeah. In this game, um, there's no assist, but the assist is both of your characters. So, if you, you could do a move like let's say I'm Ryu, I could do Tatsu and then tag my character in and that acts as an assist, the Tatsu. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's no limitation of whatever assist you want. If yeah. you want Ryu's assist to be the overhead and tag, you can. Oh, yeah, so yeah. there's no limitation. So those two things are just the biggest highlight for me. Like adding more defensive mechanic, yeah. adding more options, and removing the barriers, the limitations of a typical Marvel game is. Actually, can I ask you a question? Because it's two player instead of three player. I remember three player. There was like I was not a big Marvel guy, but I do remember watching videos which explained like you know the, the you, you picked your team in a very specific way, and the yeah. last character was like the battery character or whatever the fuck it was called. The, the anchor. The, the anchor. Like so, 
when it, with two characters, how do you think about choosing two characters? You actually, technically, you have three. Because, let's say in Marvel 3, let me use that comparison because 3v3. Um, you have, um, it feels like three, even though you have two, okay? Okay. Um, you, you, your assists are predetermined, these ones are not. Okay. Both of them are assist characters, essentially. Okay. So they're just interchanging, right? Okay. So so that, that limits that. And we have a gem. The yes. gem acts yeah. like almost a third character. Oh, okay. okay. And the third, and by you, let's say if I have any gem that I equip, both my characters gains like a new V skill, each one of them. Mm -hmm. So let's say if I'm Hulk, I'm getting zoned out. I, I'm, a, I'm generally slower character. I might equip time gem. Now I have an air dash, like a bison dash. Imagine bison's dash. Yeah, yeah. Hulk has that in the air and the ground now yeah, yeah. with his dash. And and they all have a different type of V trigger at the end, depending on the gem that you equip. So all your characters, so imagine you master two characters and they have six gems total that they're gonna, you know, that's gonna final version. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, it's four right now, That's right? like six different types version of your character that you that you master right okay that's so deep okay instead of in but, 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 townhouse be trigger but how do you go back to the question when you how would you go about picking a team like like what what are you looking for in each character um so my recipe um other it's different depending on each whatever top player you know they have okay. different styles but my 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 approach to marvel games is that i pick a character not this doesn't have to be top tier but at least high tier mm -hmm. and the character has to have it needs to be the, a balanced version like it has a little bit of projectile a little bit of movement a little bit of defense a little bit of offense it doesn't have to be a specific like they're the best offense the best defense and then i master all the assists for that okay and then by mastering all gems i could complement anything that's lacking at that time for so you, whatever so matchup. you sort of have like one character and the other character has to complement the character you have a almost support. like an assist character yeah you have like a yeah you have a closer and you have a support okay right usually that's what i do okay yeah all right, all right, all right. Okay, and the okay. gem will complement whatever you pick will complement um whatever matchup that you're faced against all right all right so um before we i have one last question on sure. MV, uh, on marvel but before we talk about Mar uh do that last question on marvel i just want to ask you about dragon ball have you had a chance to play? How yeah, much should we play? How much should we play? I got well, I'll probably like a couple games because the line was so long. Yeah, I know, right? And, um, it's crazy. You know, I don't want to hog any uh, any anybody's time as well. But god damn, that you could feel the intensity when you're playing it. You you're gonna feel you're gonna really fall in love with the animation, the the, the details of the graphics, etc. Uh, and it's just so fast paced and I love it. I love the animation, all the transitions from different scenes. Oh god. The, yeah. The taunt. The, the way it transit the way it interacts with good. the background is insane. It's too good. But there's only one thing that um, that I may not like or maybe I'm still new I don't have a lot of time to it, so maybe I don't know. Okay? Yeah. So don't say that I judged it, I don't know, okay? Yeah. But to me I feel like it might not be as deep of a gameplay. Yeah, I heard that from a few people. It's only 20% done, so I guess we don't yes, know yet. See. So I think it's like it's like it's like demo. It's super it's, demo. If it's a demo, then I'm not judging it. But so far with like a demo, 10 yeah. out of 10. Yeah, it's like 20% done. So right. I think they still have an opportunity. I think that if the feedback, I think the feedback from some of the players is like there's a level of depth that still needs to come. Yeah. So it's I, not done. If you say 20%, we, then I can't judge it. And we also don't know if the game is going to be like a. You know, esports e or not esports or just fun it's or whatever. Be e -sports. They Bandai is not gonna go to the esports world, try to like make a DBZ hire Arxis to make a fighting game with DBZ and not make it esports. They're making they're pushing that. They're gonna make a new, a, a new cup for whatever you call it. Okay. Bandai Cup, whatever. Right. Yeah, the Bandai they're gonna cup. make that. That makes sense, you know. They're not gonna like look they have we have like an ARS or a combat injustice cup, whatever. We have the Capcom Cup. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have a Marvel for sure. That's a no-brainer. For sure, they're gonna have it. It what doesn't make sense. Tekken. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know they're all doing it right now. So tell me this: uh, the, the the small amount of time that you got with the game, did it feel like any other game you played in the past? Some people are saying it feels a bit like Skullgirls. Some people are saying, oh, no, seriously, Flo said it and Sonic Fox said it. Uh, Billy, I, I I know that you play a lot of these games. Did did you feel like it felt like that? It felt or like Marvel Three. And it Marvel did feel II. like Marvel Three. It felt like Marvel Three, Marvel Two combined. Okay. Yeah, some people said Marvel 2, I heard that Yeah, Marvel sure. 2, Marvel 3 combined to me, yes. 
Okay. All That's right. what I feel. Like so. So if somebody was like you know new to fighting games and they saw DBZ and they were like, I want to prepare for DBZ. Play Marvel. Play Marvel. Play Marvel Three. Okay. There, you heard it. You heard it here, guys. Play DBZ, play Marvel 3. Like, that's 3v3 <laughs> costs, how well your neutral is. It's too good. Like, play DBZ. So, I will play. So, then my plan would be I will play. I will main Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and DBZ. And I will play Street Fighter 5 as a side game. Yeah. As it deserves to be a side game. <laughs> this makes me cry inside. That's the truth. I, I know. I know. Good, I know. We would have been playing it. We I know. Have, I yeah, but Akuma's fun, right? Huh? Akuma's fun. We fun. agreed on that. We agreed on that. He's I, fun. I agree. Like, the, I was invited to go to that tournament, the T-Mobile tournament. Is Street Fighter Five. Uh, no thanks. I don't want to compete. I, I hate this game. <laughs> I'm gonna okay, just go hang out with the fans, do interviews, play Marvel. I it declined okay. heavily. Like, All right. So let's wrap this up, right? Uh, final question on Marvel. Uh, where do we go from here? Because like everyone's fucking mad. I think they're gonna come around because they're gonna play and they're gonna enjoy it. Cause I, I even want to play it, and I'm not even a fucking Marvel guy. I want to play it now, to be honest. Uh -huh. um, like, where do we go from here? Like, like, what do you want to see happen? Like from the de dev side, what do you want to see happen from the social media side? Like, so to me, I'm just waiting for the release. Um, oh, we still have to see UX, we still have to see wait lo load times, we still have to see netcode. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Like because we can't judge those yet. Yeah. So I'm waiting on the release, but I know one thing for sure, gameplay, the fans would not be disappointed. Yeah, I, okay? I, I think but I agree. I can't talk about net netcode, um, load times, um, DLCs, yeah. whatever. I, I can't talk about that, because we don't know, right? Yeah. can't talk about graphics completely yet, because it's not final. Yeah. Even though it was addressed still. So we don't know that. But one thing I know for sure, gameplay, S tier to me. Okay. To me. So, you know. That's great. That's great. That's awesome. All right. Well, listen, man. As Thank always. you, Anytime. as always. Anytime. This was fun. And uh, uh, I guess we're going to sign out. So, I'm going to do a I'm going to do a sort of wave slash salute thing. You can do you can do that thing. Bye everybody. Yes.